the Elevate Truss Rod Slotting Jig Plus makes routing the slot for your truss rod a breeze. It's constructed of solid aluminum and comes with a precision brass router bushing. But don't be fooled, this jig is not just a routing template. It's also designed to assist in aligning the neck and fingerboard for glue up and drilling holes for fret marker inlays. Let's take a look at cutting the slot for the truss rod first. To begin, position the jig for whichever side you want to be able to access the truss rod in the instrument. If your neck already has a headstock overlay attached, don't worry. There's a machined ledge on the underside of the routing template for this exact situation. Next, center the jig on the neck using the articulating clamps. Now the jig can be screwed in place using short wood screws in the countersunk holes on the jig's routing surface. Then use the included brass bushing and a router to cut the slot. The second task this jig handles is aligning the neck and fingerboard for glue up. First, flip the jig over and then mark the nut location on the neck blank. Align the end of the jig with this mark and center it using the articulating clamps. Once correctly positioned, clamp the jig in place. It's recommended that a depth stop collar is used to ensure proper drilling depth. If you're using a brad point drill bit, check that the point of the drill won't penetrate through the workpiece. You may even want to grind the point down a bit. Now you're ready to drill. The Truss Rod Slotting Jig Plus is labeled for neck and fingerboard drill locations. Use the pair of drill bushings labeled in for the neck and drill to the desired depth. The same steps will be repeated for the fingerboard. Align the jig to the nut, center it on the board using the articulating clamps, clamp the jig down, set the depth of your drill bit ensuring the bit won't penetrate through the front of the workpiece, and drill using the bushings labeled F. Now that both sets of holes have been drilled, Insert the plastic indexing pins into the neck. The pins should be slightly above the neck surface. Snap the fingerboard onto the pins, double check proper alignment of the parts, and you're ready to glue the assembly together. The third task the Truss Rod Slotting Jig Plus tackles is drilling holes for fret marker inlays. How? The clamps used for locating the jig are actually the same clamp used for the dot locator a handy little jig that references the fingerboard taper and the fret slots to accurately and repeatedly position your drill bit in the perfect location for dot inlays. To use the dot locator, first place the points of the steel body in the fret slots at your desired fret location. Next, open the articulating clamp and slide the drill bushing into the steel body. When you squeeze the clamp closed, it naturally finds center. Hold the clamp firmly and drill. But what happens when you want to drill double dots in a single location? The jig can handle that too with the addition of a simple spacer. All you'll need to know is the distance between your dots on center. So for example, if you want your dots one inch apart on center, use a one inch spacer block. Simply put the spacer between the clamp and the fingerboard as you drill, then repeat for the other side. For those occasions when you want to inlay a dot of a different size, the dot locator can assist with that too, with the addition of a simple transfer punch. Align the jig as you normally would on the fingerboard and then tap the punch to accurately mark the location. Then you can drill for any size dot you'd like. The Elevate Truss Rod Slotting Jig Plus is three jigs in one. A routing template, a neck and fingerboard alignment jig, and a fret marker inlay drilling tool. Get yours today at elevatelutheri.com.